Welcome to episode 262 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host today. We're talking about how just one person can make all the difference. Let <laughs> <laughs> the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So several weeks ago, um, I took my family on a vacation. I posted about this. If you follow me on LinkedIn or Instagram, actually LinkedIn, if you don't follow me on LinkedIn, we have a lot of fun conversation. Actually, I engage most with the audience on LinkedIn. Side note, I decided to take my family on a much needed vacation. I talked about that a couple of weeks ago. There was an experience on the way there that has been stuck in my head ever since. Um, and I'm going to share it with you because it was such a profound, made a, such a profound impact on me from um, the belief that one person and their mindset and their attitude can make all the difference. So we flew to Orlando from Syracuse. And if you know about Syracuse, we don't have a ton of direct flights everywhere, not even close to you know places like Nashville or Atlanta or Dallas. So we're always like in this thing, like, do we want to take the layover? How long is it going to take to get there? How expensive is it going to be? And sometimes we have several discount airlines that fly out of Syracuse. Um, one of those is Allegiant. And uh, we have Allegiant Frontier, a new one called Breeze. And so there was a direct flight from Allegiant from Syracuse or through Allegiant from Syracuse to Orlando. So, um, you know, I was a little hesitant. I don't really fly discount airlines just because I travel so much and, you know, got the points and the things you're used to. And you hear all the stories about a discount airline, right? Yeah. Are there unruly passengers? Are the seats uncomfortable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Either way, decided to book Allegiant. I uh, saved a bunch of money on the tickets and we can do without the the free, you know, like 87 cent Coke and the, the 50 cent cookies, right? So you can, if you can pass on that, Actually, we saved a ton of money. I flew my whole family, six people, but we're going on this Allegiant trip and I don't know what to expect. I've never flown it before um, or I didn't have much experience. So we get the family there. Check-in process was pretty no frills, but like they got it done. Get on the seats. The seats, pretty comfortable. I mean, maybe a little different, a little, a little less convenient maybe than a major airline, but not crazy. Definitely not the best leg room. Um, you know, it was a little bit cramped, but I'm also cramped in a commercial airline. So we get in there and you're just kind of like experiencing this new environment. The plane's a little different. The people are dressed a little bit different, like the flight attendants and things like that. Um, but we pull out and we take off. The flight's going fine, right? No internet, no Wi-Fi. Again, discount airline. I'm cool with that. My kids downloaded movies. My wife and I are just talking and enjoying the trip. And we were about, um, I don't know, like 30, 45 minutes away. And the flight attendant, the head flight attendant, picks up the comm and she goes, all right, it's here in an excited tone. And everybody kind of looks up. She's like, the moment we've all been waiting for, right? And everyone, like, she pauses for effect. And she goes, we're almost there, right? And people, like, you get some kids that are excited and people who are, like, respond to that a little bit. She goes, but now you've been sitting in that seat for so long. We're going to do a little plain yoga so that you're ready to go when we hit the ground. She's like, so I need everybody to put their hands up in the air. And I was like, what is going to happen with this? right? Because I'm used to like commercial flights during the day, a lot of business travelers, right? So it's like that awkward moment when you're like, that person is either going to be like really ignored or they're going to be the hero. Well, guess what? Everybody put their hands up. And all of a sudden, the entire plane has their hands up. So I'm like, oh, my hands are going up too, right? We're stretching. She's like, and stretch as far as you can. She goes, now go to the left side. And everybody on the plane tips to the left side with their hands in the air. She's like, now go to the right side. She goes, remember, it's only yoga if you're moving. And so the whole plane is engaging in this exercise. And she now has like 200 people locked onto her and following her like a Simon Says leader. And then she says the, the most brilliant line. She says, all right, now I need you to reach down and everybody touch your toes. Take advantage of all that extra leg room. And she goes, okay, that was a cruel joke. And the whole plane erupts in laughter. And I was just absolutely stunned and impacted. So she did the stretch thing. Everyone got done their laugh. She gave a few other instructions. They were prepared for boarding. Like put your trade tables up and like, you know, initial descent, all of those things. And the vibe in the plane was off the charts after that. I felt better. I actually felt physically better because I just stretched and like the blood got flowing. So there was like this physiological thing happening where all of a sudden my body just felt better because my blood was circulating. But my mind and, and my thinking also felt better because I was smiling and laughing and around other people who were smiling and laughing. And yeah, it was a flight to Orlando. So you can imagine the kids or some crying kids, but 
for some reason, that all stopped. And all of a sudden, the seat felt more comfortable. And all of a sudden, I, I was so happy that I flew Allegiant and I saved all that money. I'm smiling, I'm almost there. And that one flight attendant was the reason for it. She didn't have to do that. She didn't have to say anything but like, ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching our final descent. Time to do all these things. Let me give you a rule, a rule, a rule, a rule. She didn't do any of that. Well, she did that, but at the end, not until her willingness to engage and connect and willingness to risk the lack, the, the risk, the, the kind of rejection, she just put on such a great show. And she made such a great impression for her employer, Allegiant, the company, Allegiant. I will never look at them the same way again. Now when I need to fly somewhere, I'm like, where else does Allegiant fly direct? Because it's actually kind of nice going direct. And, you know, the plane was good enough and the people were great. I have a feeling that's, that was the Southwest magic that I haven't really gotten to experience because I didn't really start flying Southwest until this past year when obviously they're having some issues. But in the beginning, the flight attendants were the magic. And the common thread between why it connected is that she was willing to be honest. She was willing to be empathetic. She was funny. She got our attention. She made a connection with us and it showed that she really cared. And that is actually how you build brand. And that is actually how you manage company culture. And now I'm talking about it on the podcast. I posted about it on LinkedIn. The post did amazing, right? And you can go and look for it because the clip is like people with their hands in the air on a plane going left and right. And it's this story. I wish I got her name because she is a difference maker in that organization. I think anything she does she will make a difference. And the organization obviously allowed space for it. It's a good consideration moment for all of us, whether you're in business, whether you lead an organization, or even whether you're just like managing the family, which is a super high calling, by the way. What are, are you gonna be the person today that through your mentality and your attitude, your, your willingness to like, hey, we're gonna be honest with the situation and we're gonna understand how you feel and we're gonna do something, get your attention and connect with you. It was just a brilliant, stroke of brand connection and personal connection that I had to talk about today because it was only words. She didn't have the fancy plane. She didn't have the free food. She didn't have the comfortable seats of the first class. She didn't have the fancy uniform. Like she didn't have all of those things. And she proved that you don't need all of those things. I think oftentimes we tell ourselves we need the fancy thing to do the fancy thing when in reality, the words that we say and the perception that we have and the smile and the empathetic connection is actually all you need. It's all you need. So I just wanted to talk about that one person who made a difference in my day and my perception and hopefully help make a difference in your day and your perception as well. And then you can go make a difference in somebody else's day and perce you see where I'm going with this. That's the perspective. That's the clarity today. Thanks for spending some time with me. I will see you next week. We came to fight.